Thank you for joining us. First off, let me say we sincerely hope your team is staying safe while keeping up with operations. Our worlds don't seem to stop, do they? As our worlds are changing, Eagle Eye Network's goal is to change the way the world thinks about video surveillance. The Eagle Eye Cloud Video Management System, or VMS, is a cloud security camera system that provides 100% cloud management, 100% mobile and web browser viewing, and if desired, 100% cloud recording. Let's take a peek at what we're going to talk about today. First, we'll start with the company and video surveillance overview, and then we'll dive into why the cloud and how do you access your video, followed by the Eagle Eye Cloud VMS demo, and that will showcase some of the features that are you know, most relevant for educators, and the future of technology in schools, we'll loop back to, and then we'll wrap up with a Q&A. And this, again, will be a short and sweet presentation of what we're all about and how we're making a huge difference in schools today. Your speakers today are myself, Amanda, I'll be your host. During normal times, you'll find me boots on the ground interacting at trade shows all over the nation, learning how surveillance is being utilized on campuses and listening to educators like yourself discuss their concerns. Ricky Mapp will join us, pop in for Q&A after this quick demonstration. Ricky Mapp has been with the company for five years and has a deep understanding of the architecture and technical ingenuity of Eagle Eye system. So we're lucky to have him. A little bit about us. We're headquartered here in Austin, Texas, which is where we're broadcasting from right now. We have offices in three continents and our own data centers all over the world with customers spanning across 48 countries to date. Why the cloud and what is it? Let's begin by breaking the cloud down to a few scenarios, which we, I'm sure we can all surely relate to. Do you update your Netflix account? Is Netflix constantly upgrading? It sure is, and you're sure not upgrading it yourself. Do you get an alert when your online banking account needs an upgrade? Nope, because the software is all in the cloud, constantly getting better for us as users. How about flip phones? Remember those? We carried those little gadgets around in anticipation, waiting months until we could upgrade. And the reason is that we wanted the newest and coolest features, right? We'd throw the old one deep in a drawer somewhere and get a new one specifically for an exciting new camera, game, keyboard, et cetera, something. We did this on repeat for years on end. Then, big player, came out Apple and revolutionized the world, entered the smartphone. The smartphone centralized all those cool gadgets and features we love. Sure, the models improve and we upgraded our hardware, but the experience on the model is con constantly improving with cloud updates, offering the best and the newest. Eagle Eye also has a hardware appliance we rely upon, called the bridge. When the smartphone breaks randomly, it is not always possible or simple to go to the store and get a new one for free. With our bridge, you can. More on that in a minute. No need to grab the latest and greatest smartphone either. We're camera agnostic, meaning nine times out of 10, schools can use their existing camera setup, offering an unbeatable low upfront cost. The cloud allows our customers to easily monitor and adjust recording length and the retention duration, which are really the, the D2 factors that determine your monthly cost. Pay for only what you need and never for what you don't. The cloud video system has been architected from the ground up to be all cloud all the time. About that bridge I mentioned earlier. Eagle Eye Networks VMS requires either a bridge or a CMVR to securely connect to the Eagle Eye Cloud. These devices are an integral part of how our unique technology works and include lifetime replacement, like I mentioned before, in the event of a hardware failure. The bridge device ranges in different sizes, hooks up, and, and can handle different amounts of cameras, depending on how many we have. The bridge provides 24 to 48 hour video storage buffer and utilizes an intelligent bandwidth manager for complete control over how the device impacts your school's network. We have options for systems with limited bandwidth or redundant storage needs as well. Now, let's hop over to the demo. I'm going to be buzzing around our web-based interface. I'm right here on Safari, nothing fancy, no extra you know, application involved here. We have created our mobile applications for iOS and Android to be as intuitive as this web browser is so you can access all the same features you'll see here while you're mobile. As a large group of diverse educators on this webinar, there will be some similar and different pain points, concerns, desires, and everything in a surveillance system, right? 
we're going to zip through the main functions and some features that are appreciated and utilized thoroughly by our current education client base. We don't have a school campus to display here for privacy reasons. Uh, I'm sure you can all understand. But what we are looking at is a co-working and startup incubator here in Austin, Texas. This location has had very little movement lately, as you can imagine, um, as such are empty schools. So bear with us as we imagine it crawling with activity. The cloud has a synonym that separates itself from an on-site server. That's flexibility. An on-site solution has a lot of rigidity. We'll walk through variations of this unique flexibility. So throughout this, we're, just so you are all aware, we have a wide range of cameras, high resolution, low resolution, Eagle Eye CM VR, we have a bridge in the demo, we have everything. So a lot going on just to show you that we, we really can work with more or less um, a lot of different cameras and systems and whatnot. The flexibility does begin exactly with that, with our software being camera agnostic, meaning we work with the majority of camera manufacturers out there, both IP and analog, which again, you'll see a mixture of both in this demo. Rip and repeat processes isn't our goal. We have the largest database of cameras on our website, so you can confirm if our platform can indeed plug and play with your existing cameras, or even request compatibility if for some reason you don't see your camera on the list. We can likely uh, support it. So let's, let's dive in here. The flexibility continues with layouts. So we have all these layouts here and the ability to search and organize. Here are all of our cameras. You can view all cameras on your system, and they will keep loading as you scroll down and they're feeding right from the cloud. We have our layouts on the left with names and labels that, were diff that will differ for every industry. Some naming conventions may be similar. For instance, if I wanted to look at all the cameras tagged as an entrance, all I'd have to do is type in entrance. And all of those would pop up as long as they have the appropriate tags. Maybe we have, maybe we have a tag on a lot of these cameras for elevators. Maybe I want to just watch the elevators and have a layout potentially just for those as well. So much room to customize. You can really get imaginative about how you want to design layouts or tag cameras. You can group, again in the layout, as few as two cameras to 200. You can group varying cameras among a varying number of campuses, meaning you could also get very, a very specific across your district with who gets to do and view what with each camera. Schools have placed our cameras near main entrances and administrative offices to help record visitors as they enter and exit the building. Cameras near entrances or exits can also help reduce truancy. Fixed cameras are sometimes strategically placed in order to protect valuables, computers, sound equipment, trophies, books. Outdoor surveillance cameras in parking lots can help protect students and staff when leaving or arriving at any hour and discourage break-ins and vandalism, as we know. Wherever your eyes are, you can customize a layout and unlimited tags to easily monitor your building. Note that we are sending two streams to the cloud low resolution MJPEG preview stream, which is what you're gonna see here, and the high resolution is sent to the background whenever local bandwidth allows. If you have a large building or are watching an entire school district, there could be a ton of cameras and at times a ton of users accessing these cameras. Bandwidth isn't a concern when accessing these preview streams here, since you're grabbing it right from the cloud and you're not stressing your local bandwidth. I like to use YouTube as another relatable example here with us. There are thousands of, thousands of people watching thousands of the same YouTube video at the same time, but it doesn't affect the video's performance itself as long as you, yourself, on, on your server have the minimum upload bandwidth to play it. We can retrieve the higher resolution video simply by clicking on the preview, which I did previously here. Got ahead of myself. So that will be retrieving the high resolution, again, based on the camera. That's crystal clear, as you can see. By optimizing cloud technology, we remove the headache from the end user and return to them their peace of mind. Using the Eagle Eye VMS, our users have complete control over customizing their security needs from a web browser or mobile app. With all of these possibilities for camera viewing comes the option of who on your team can see what. The way that we manage this is within users. This is where the flexibility aspect of the cloud really comes into play. Admins will have full access to it all, but if you have a user, say, an assistant or a vice principal, you can go in, let's use George Adams as, as an example, in the settings tab and can configure their access with a few clicks. Maybe the high school principal, George Adams, doesn't need access to the elementary school campus. Maybe he doesn't need, maybe he doesn't need access 24 hours a day, just depending on who he is. Maybe a security officer, you want to go and change his adjustments, and maybe he only needs access when he's on the clock. And so we can, you know, if he has a fixed schedule, can do that. 
maybe we, we want someone to have access during non-work hours, maybe they're off-site, you know, patrolling somehow remotely. There are lots of different things. There'll be permission settings. Let's say I want to, um, you know, change a bunch of these, and we'll dive into that here in a second. From an access standpoint, you can get very granular on permissions. Employees come and go. We know it can be tedious to go through the process of adding or removing from an account. Just like you can add a camera with a click of a button, these permissions and updates can be adjusted in seconds rather than going through physical obstacles to make these changes. A fundamental mission upon which our CEO built Eagle Eye was to reduce the time and energy for in-person IT requests or third-party on-site appointments. These are things we should be able to do ourselves seamlessly and remote. Let's head over again to the permissions tab. I can also adjust who has the ability to add or edit users, which is useful to delegate responsibilities throughout your team. Who gets to view video, who gets to download it. You don't want to risk privacy concerns with worrying about, well, someone has ability to download, but what if they accidentally download and accidentally send it to someone they shouldn't do, shouldn't be. We can, we can avoid all of these things by changing all of their permissions really, really uh, any way we want. The platform also provides educators a great opportunity to be proactive. Should there be a critical incident where you need to have the video easily retrievable and share it with their first responder or someone of authority? Go back up here. In that case, let me show you how easy that is. God forbid something does happen. You're gonna go right up here into, this would be you know, your name, count settings, and you're gonna enter and get all of these informations here and you're gonna enter the email address over here. So let's say something happened 10 minutes ago, yesterday, what, what not, maybe it's happening currently. We can enter their name, their email, their information here, bob at lapd.com, something like that. Administrators will have the option to pre-designate first responders, local PD, who can receive immediate real-time security camera access during emergency situations. My favorite thing about this feature is that the first responders don't need any special equipment to see the video in such an emergency situation. It's an on-demand and seamless solution. All right, so we're here back at the layouts and let's buzz through one of the best features is History Browser. You know, we, we want the whole point of video surveillance is being able to retrieve past video, correct? So let's head over again. These are gonna be the previews. Let's head over into the high resolution stream. We're gonna click the watch icon. We can utilize this feature to retrieve historical data and share a video clip by clicking on the watch icon. Taking a closer look in this view allows us to investigate the details of an incident, decide if it's actionable. Now we're looking at our historical history browser, if you will. This is a very user-friendly, intuitive way to search for an exact segment of, the, of a video. I can scroll back quickly and easily to find motion, which is gonna be indicated by all of these black, I'm um, sorry, blue boxes. And we can look in two or eight hour increments or one minute increments. Once we find a particular activity, we may need to present it to another team member to decide if there's something further to, to take action on here. So here you can see we had some action here. So let's say, you know, this, this seems a little, you know, I wanna check it out. Someone needs to check it out. I wanna send it to someone. We're gonna make it very easy to share this video with a few clicks. I'm just holding down my shift to send this entire clip to someone here. I can copy it to my clipboard here. And I produce, and I'm, this will produce an actionable link I can easily share, text, email with anyone who has access to the system and camera and who holds the correct, correct permission. They'll simply click the link I send and log in and they can view the video directly and it'll pop them into this exact same history browser that we're looking at right now. So let's say I wanted to download that, save that. So it won't let me save here since we're, we are in the demo. However, back, we're gonna go over to our archives. And let's say I had named it, you know, uh, Suspicious Custodial Group. <laughs> and it'll be in the particular folder that I sent. I can go and retrieve some of these things download them, but again, based on my permissions as, a, as an admin, you'll have access to everything. I can copy it, I can, I can grab the link again. Um, this is where you're gonna find all of that. We can capture instances based on analytics we have set up in the platform as well. Maybe we want the security guard or the principal to be notified if there's motion inside the office in the middle of the night. 
they'll get a push, push notification with a link, just as we described before, when sending a video clip, and they can access that video to further investigate. Let's uh, quickly cover a bit more on analytics here. We've created our own completely open API. It's a REST-based API, making the data available to integrate seamlessly into applications your school uses daily. All of the Eagle Eye VMS platform, web, iOS, Android, they've all been built using this API, both to reduce the impact on bandwidth and to ensure total security over your encrypted data. Eagle Eye has a few analytics built right in to the platform that you can add or remove at any time, such as counting, line crossing, intrusion, detection, loitering, and camera tampering. As most of our platform, analytics can also be customized, complete with notifications, they can be turned on and off very easily, and just as it's easy to adjust user settings or change camera, camera resolution, analytics are the same. It's pretty flexible from an integrator perspective, and analytics can be added right into your monthly subscription. This brings us right on into pricing. Eagle Eye is a monthly subscription model that is charged per camera based on a simple sliding scale of two factors, camera resolution and retention. So simply put, pricing is on a case-by-case -case basis. Before I dive into that, do know we go to market through our trusted third-party channel partners. They're local boots on the ground crews, and we've thoroughly trained them on our product to provide you with the quote, the ongoing bill handling, and of course the install. We are the manufacturer of the hardware and the host of the software. Think of us as the new shiny Sony TV you pick up at Best Buy. We're the Sony TV and Best Buy is our channel partner. So price is dependent on each camera's resolution, like I mentioned, and retention. You can store video anywhere from two days to five years. Let's say you initially choose to set up your hallway cameras to retain video for 60 days. A couple months go by and you've come to find out that 30 days is really all you ever need. You've never needed to go back further than that, looking to save a few bucks. The same thing goes for resolution and the fact that it's easy to adjust. Maybe there are a few cameras that you want to view a bit clearer. And as long as the camera has a higher resolution setting available, this can be switched just as quickly. Your camera settings will be set up based on the camera itself, obviously. So if you have 20 different cameras set up, you know, this drop down menu will be a little bit different. Analog cameras will be obviously much more limited. So while you're setting that up, all these things can be switched quickly. These things can be done with a few clicks and your billing would reflect this change in pro rate. So in the retention situation, if you're, if you're going from 60 to 30 days, your subscription would go down for this particular camera. And if you're increasing resolution on this, again, the same camera, your subscription would go up and it would, again, just a sliding scale. Now we don't by any means pass you off to these partners, make you wait for someone new to contact you and before hearing you out on your budget concerns. We all have a budget per camera. The more data you consume based on higher resolution, the higher the cost. That means it could also be less. Again, keep in mind, there can be a lot of variation here. You can add or remove cameras just as easily as well. The system is built to scale and adapt with your district's needs. A few things to remember as we wrap up the money talk. The Eagle Eye software offers reduced time and energy for in-person IT repairs, as I mentioned before, reduced need and costs for third-party on-site appointments, and last but not least, less on-site hardware ultimately equals less equipment costs. Hopefully I was able to cover some points that were important to you, your school, and your students. There are various other features that get even more granular and new feature elements are constantly and seamlessly rolled out and increased cybersecurity measures constantly added to keep your entire campus safe. All right, so it looks like we have a question, first question here. Let's start it out. Do we integrate, is, does Eagle Eye integrate with access control? Ricky, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, thanks, Heather. Um, yeah, so, um, Eagle Eye, you know, with this open API is, you know, really simple to integrate with uh, existing, uh, all existing, you know, softwares out there, um, so long as they're open source. Um, one of our sister companies, um, Brevo, is an access control that's got us integrated. What that allows uh, their users to do is view the video that is associated with a door um, opening. So if uh, a user badges into a door, uh, that camera is saving a 
uh, five second clip of that user coming into the door. Um, so that helps security uh, maintain, you know, who's actually in the building. If it's actually the uh, the correct user or if somebody had maybe let somebody borrow their badge or if two or three people came in at the same time. So uh, yes, uh, multiple companies, including Salto and Brevo, um, have integrated with Eagle Eye. Awesome, thank you so much for that. So it looks like we have another question that came in here. Is there a limit to how many users can be added to the platform? Are there any extra costs or anything we should know about adding users? Because I guess that's a great question. Districts might have thousands of users and some, you know, maybe a small monastery school might have only a few. Sure, and we get that question a lot. And the reason we get that question so often is because most other um, softwares um, on the market, especially uh, software as a service, uh, license users. Uh, they'll sell packs of 10 or 100. Um, and so if you buy a pack of 10 and you only need two users, then you're sort of wasting money there. Um, one of our founders' uh, principles is, you know, he really wants everyone to, to be able to use the, the, the service that, that needs to. And because of that, we do not license users. So um, you can add one or you can add a thousand users and that, that doesn't matter to us. Uh, I, I think from a security standpoint, uh, the more people you have interacting with your video, uh, the more secure your building will be. Um, so, you know, in a, from a standpoint of a school, uh, of course, you know, the principal is going to have the access to the cameras and so security, uh, but maybe there's a, a, a video camera uh, near the, the uh, near, near the custodial closet. Um, you know, it'd be really good for that custodian or the custodian team to, you know, be able to monitor who's going in and out of their closet to make sure that um, no one's skipping class. And we understand that there are regulations in different states and countries that would uh, permit or not permit that uh, from happening. Um, so you can totally customize it to, uh, you know, what your needs are in your area. Awesome, awesome. Okay, looks like we have time for one or two more questions. One just popped in that um, was about, you know, if budget is an issue and they maybe want to keep their you know, DVR on premise, something like that. Is there a, a, even a more budget friendly option to even just get um, started and put a few things in the cloud? Yeah, so for sure. Uh, we have a feature that we call cloud video replication. And this uh, relies on the camera's abilities to create multiple different streams or views. Um, so long as the camera can support enough streams for the on site um, NVR, DVR, uh, we can take the two streams that we need and put those in the cloud. So it may not be all, you know, 200 cameras. Maybe you only need two, uh, 20 cameras to go to the cloud. You could easily add Eagle Eye into that mix um, so that you have that offsite uh, retention. Um, you know, a budgetary standpoint is, uh, you know, one of the main concerns when it comes to, to building out a system. And because of that, we're very flexible. Um, you know, we can either store all your video online, or I'm, I'm sorry, all your video on site or all your video online in the cloud. Um, we can change the resolution, we can change the retention to you know, really dial down and, and, and meet any budget that's out there. Great, awesome. Well, it looks like that's it. Unless anyone else has any other questions, we again wanna thank you so much for joining us. Um, and we're sincerely, everyone from the Eagle Eye team, we're rooting for healthy times ahead for everyone on you and your team, all right? So stay safe out there and you have your next steps if you are interested in learning more. Thank you, everybody.